You have an emergency number for them to call, and this is the Mabel Bassett Correctional Facility. They call that number and leave a message. Call us immediately. They called our they, work. I was still at work. He calls me home, and there was this pit in my stomach. I literally started shaking because they had both of our cell numbers. The prison did. Why they called our work number, we were unsure of. So I call, and I get hung up on. What do you mean hung up on? They wouldn't talk to me. Well, I call asking whoever the operator was, said that we just got a phone call, needed, we needed to call back, and he said, I have no idea who made that phone call. You're just going to have to wait till they call you back. And then they would transfer us, and then that line would go to a voice line. And so I just kept trying. And then finally someone answered the phone, and I still don't know who it was, and they uttered three words. She is dead. Click. I was still at the office, and I got the text that said, Amber's dead, come home. And I dropped to the floor. Honestly, I don't remember a whole lot of it. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. And Levi came over, and he was so worried. I think it, or either our daughter got home or Brian made it, made it first. And we just, we were in shock. What goes through your mind when you hear that? I was like, there's no way she's dead. This is a mistake. And then I thought, maybe she's hurt. And if they can just tell me where she's at, and I will, I will do CPR on her. I will give her an IV fluid. I will do what I need to do as a nurse. And Brian's a doctor, so we can save her. We just wanted to get to where she was at, and they wouldn't even tell us where she was at. They didn't tell us how she died. It was just, she's dead. She is dead. And so I called until 2 o'clock that morning. 2 o'clock. For another eight hours. In shock. Before anybody would talk to you? They still didn't they talk They still wouldn't talk. I finally got through. I asked to speak to someone in medical, and the only thing I got was, we're calling it a suicide. He wouldn't give how, what happened, any details of whatsoever. Do, do you know who called you from the jail? Who said the words, she is dead? We don't know. I don't know if it was the warden. I don't know if it was the PR person. I think by 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm in such shock, and I'm so angry. And not only am I calling, but her biological dad is calling. I honestly think I called your producer, and I said, maybe you'll get answers, because I won't. Then you get from medical that they're calling it a suicide. I they told me to watch the news. And what did you learn on television? We found out that she hung herself on the news. We have confirmed this morning that Hilberling killed herself at the Mabel Bassett Correctional Facility in McLeod on Monday. A source inside Mabel Bassett tells us that she was found hanging in her cell at 5.30 Monday evening. It was actually on Facebook too. Someone sends me a message saying, ding dong, the witch is dead. And it came from a Hilberling. And I was in shock. And when I looked down and it said on there, she finally hung herself. No, I thought please, that was the most don't. horrible thing. Please don't look at that stuff. I won't. And I don't care what anyone thought about the situation. Like, we knew the truth. We knew Amber was innocent. So to me, we just had a loss of a child that wasn't supposed to happen. She wasn't supposed to be there. She should have never been there, and this would have never happened. None of this should have ever happened. They tortured her from day one, though. Day one, because she lived in a high-rise apartment and was a beautiful, what they deemed, wealthy kid. And they were going to make an example out of her because he was a military hero. The prison tortured my child. 